hey guys welcome to another video so we have got project infinity x custom rom on the redmi note 9 pro and it is based on android 16. Now, i've been using the rom for quite some time now and the rom is actually quite good you know it's nice you look at this particular scene now you see the specs that are there currently uh, project Infinity X, we have 6 gigs of RAM that is active and our ROM is 128 and then you see it is version 3.2 that we currently have installed. And like I said, I've been using this ROM for quite some time now and the ROM has been good so far, very, very good. Now what is special with this ROM? That is something you might want to find out, what is very, very special with this ROM. I have installed the game. Okay, I installed the game and I actually love it. Now, if you look at the icons, you'll be able to see the ones that are currently available. The icons are beautiful. And with Android 16, you know you can expand and extend your icons. Okay, you just have to choose the one that you feel like will be better. Now, I can decide between dark mode and light mode. I like the way it is actually quite fast. Now, if you turn on your battery saver, I like the way the green accent comes out at you when you turn it on. But let me keep it off. I have a lot of battery for now. So, now, if you look at this ROM, you notice that as with other material view icons and other material view features, when you set a wallpaper, obviously your icons, a lot of things, okay, take accent from the wallpaper that you set. Now, let's check out some things with the settings of this ROM. Let me, let's uh, switch to light mode. Let me try light mode. Let's see. Oh, my reflections are, my reflection is there. Okay, let's take it. Now, we have the usual things. Let's work, your app, sound, the typical usual stuff that you get in your settings. But the infinity suite is what we are actually looking at. Um, now, if you tap on this icon, the user's icon, you can actually change your name instead of saying good morning owner like mine is josh you say good morning josh now for the infinity suite you practically have the same things you have with other custom roms like cr droid or with uh, evolution x but um, let us start with the lock screen now lock screen you have your typical lock screen stuff okay now for font style you can change set whatever font style you like there are different fonts that you can use anywhere you like you select they'll show up as your lock screen font style okay now you scroll up you look at you see they have other ones now for weather settings i thought there would be something like a weather custom pack and you know, I, I didn't know about it at first okay now you click on it you see from different ones so let me uh let me select nothing yeah nothing i'll go with nothing uh, nothing is showing up yeah nothing is nothing is going up <laughs> let me check my weather app let's see maybe something is going to change there now it's practically this nothing nothing changes now this is one slight bug that i noticed but all you have to do is just make sure you get to your home screen and it's fine you won't have any problems okay now going back to settings let us check out the other infinity suite uh, other infinity suite things now if you look down here and you go to wallpaper you have your standard wallpaper store okay coming now this leads me now to my to my lock screen my lock screen is beautiful okay see the way the animations move when you unlock and you lock the phone now the fingerprint too is not too bad it's actually decent okay it's quite fast also now moving on there's something i notice when it comes to the aod now normally when you turn on aod aod is supposed to like come on right i mean when you lock the screen it's supposed to they're supposed to just like tap and all but okay nothing is nothing is going on my battery saver is not on so i don't see any reason why the AOD should not come on but i notice that it only comes on when you plug the phone like when it's charging i'm moving on to status bar there are lots of things you can play with also you can change your battery icon style look at mine mine is for the landscape ios 16. okay there are lots of other things now i initially turned on the logo but when I saw the way it kept intruding with my clock, I had to just turn it off. I had to turn it off. Now there are other settings too, especially miscellaneous. So if you go to miscellaneous, you see 
a lot of other settings and i was hoping to find the fps you know the high fps thingy but i couldn't find it but even at that you can still increase your screen record limit past the 15 gigabyte limit that you have there you have your storage encryption you have no storage restriction you can even allow application downgrade if you feel like it okay so there are lots of other things here you can you can enjoy the rom is good no cap the rom is good performance is good you can game on it no issues whatsoever the icons are there icons are beautiful you know the rom is good if you want to check it out is it good as a daily driver definitely i'll see you guys in the next video take care